Hello YouTube, RHJF back in with another video and today's video is going to be about what I've been doing over the last couple days since I've made a video and I do have quite a bit of gains so the very first part is going to be talking about something that I talked about in the last part of the video and then the second half of the video which will be post commentary will be about what I've actually been doing over the last week but this is about a reference to a video, the last video that I made where I talked about the rise of the Shix shields and how they would continue to go down until the end, or till bonus experience weekend and then afterwards they would probably go back up and uh, as you can see I'm just bonfiring right here uh, I'm intentionally not showing you the XP because that is part of the gains and uh, I'll go ahead and show you how many I've accumulated so far so let's go ahead and uh, let's show them off I have two merciless kite shields and eleven vengeful kite shields I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out just to whack them in a price check so you guys can see how much I've spent on them, etc. I did buy all the vengeful kite shields for between 3 mil and 3.2 mil, and I bought the merciless kite shields for around 4.2 mil, I do believe. And uh, the reason I only have two merciless is not because of the cash stack, as you can see, 758k. I do have uh, stacks of these attempting to buy in the grand exchange. Actually, only it's a couple vengefuls that I'm way undercutting. I think I have it in for 2.5 just to see if they will buy, but they have been rising back up which is something that I was talking about but uh, hold on I'll chuck these in the price checker and uh, just remember I spent about 3.2 to 3 mil on these so they're still about 3.3 mil in the GE and then I spent about 4.2 on these merciless and they're about 4.3 in the GE so just a little bit under what the GE says right now I spent on both of these so probably around a 38 to 40 mil I've spent on these kite shields and if I can get a 10 percent return which is what I'm really shooting for so if I sold them for like 3.6 mil on the Vengefuls and like 5 mil maybe that's pretty generous on the Merciless Kite Shields that would be my merch complete and that would be a pretty good return for just a small sample size like this if I had maybe like 30 of these and 40 of these or something big like that maybe I'd get a much larger return and because I'd have so many of them but with that many a uh, 10% return making about 5 or 6 mil for literally just having these in the bank and having some offers and whatever is a pretty good return in my opinion especially since I don't really have a use for the money right now because <clears throat> I'm saving for either a noxious staff or a noxious bow I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to decide which one I want I'm probably gonna go for the bow because I do have the void helm but and I do not have the void mage helm so uh, that's where this is at I'm gonna cut now into the gains that I've made over the last week it's going to be mostly pictures of things that I've gotten at Bandos and some skilling things that I have done. And actually, one thing I did forget to screenshot is I passed 40 million attack EXP, which is pretty cool. Because some of you guys will know I'm trying to go for that 120 because the cape does look pretty awesome, I do think. So uh, that's that 40 out of 104 mil for attack done. And then I'm going to cut into the rest of the gains now, so I hope you guys do enjoy the rest of the video. So the first thing we're going to jump to, into is the skilling EXP and as you can see I did get 67 and 68 million fire making. I am going for 120 in fire making as well. So I'm getting really really close as it is 104 mil. And then I just checked this in here. I'm not really going for any EXP total but 517.5 mil on the EXP. And then I did have 100 dungeoneering. I'm not really going for 120 either but it would be pretty cool to get the 120 dungeoneering because it is a comp cape requirement which is something I might do in the very very distant future but then let's jump into some of the bossing gains I did get a bandos chest plate and then as you'll see a bandos chassis in the very same trip and something that was surprising to me as you'll see in the price check in just a second is that bandos chest plate and bandos tacits are both under 3 mil and bandos tacits are both is almost under 2 mil that is ridiculous to me seeing as bandos is what used to be pretty decent money and now it is pretty crap and then you'll see an effigy and a bandos gloves in another trip and I did have like two other trips where I just got shards which was pretty ridiculous and uh, was obviously not worth my time being there but what are you gonna do really so that is it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy hit that like button if you did enjoy and subscribe if you're new around here and uh, with that being said thank you guys for watching and as always have a nice day